Good morning. <laughs> oh, lovely to see you. Mira, <laughs> Miriam, Rich. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> so the show's been changing a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's changing. Hmm. In a good way. Yeah, that's what it's felt like. Yeah. It's like funny because so much goes on in a week um, here. So it's like, wow, what do we even talk about? <laughs> There's the ups and the downs of yeah. the awakening journey. <laughs> and yeah. now today's a good day. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Other days, not so good. <laughs> yeah, pretty rough. A few days too. Yeah, like, I, I don't know how. Really I low out. days, like really, really. <laughs> but also like these ups. And yeah. I really feel like we're in this moment of happy, happy, happy yeah. feeling. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the shows always lead to this. It's like throughout the week, it's like, how, how on earth are we going to do a show when I feel like this? And then all of a sudden, it's like we get picked up and we're like, oh, okay, we're good again. Yeah. And the shows are always so wonderful, aren't they? Such a gift. Yeah. And I'm so happy to share this moment with you. <laughs> it was really beautiful. And today we wanted to start with practicing our lesson for the day, which is so beautiful. So you can let it like sink in and just really enjoy this. Truth answers every call we make to God, responding first with miracles and then returning us unto us to be itself. Forgiveness, truth's reflection, tells me how to offer miracles and thus escape the prison house in which I think I live. Your holy son is pointed out to me, first in my brother, then in me. Your voice instructs me patiently to hear your word and give as I receive. And as I look upon your son today, I hear your voice instructing me to find the way to you as you appointed that the way shall be. Behold his sinlessness and be you healed. Yeah, it's amazing this journey. It's like when he talks about the prison house, it's like you can go into that seeming prison in your own mind and then all of a sudden you're out of the prison and you think, how on earth did I get in there in the first mm. place? Yeah, yeah. That was happening a lot this week, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I just really love that part of, you'll see it in your brother first. So it's like if, okay, if you're able to do this forgiveness work with seemingly the other, mm. you will be able to see that reflection back. Mm. I feel that was very helpful. And it's been really a lesson that we've been going through this week mm. because there's been like a lot of projections between us and a lot of darkness coming up. Mm. And yeah, it just comes to that place again, to the, this line, like, behold his sinlessness and be you healed. And like with that, it was, it just felt like all this darkness and then like this wave of light is mm. coming beneath us to mm. guide us in the inspiration mm. with all the changes that are happening here in the ministry. Yeah, it's like for me, when I go into like wrong mindedness, it's like everything is just, everything annoys me. <laughs> um, I get upset, annoyed, angry, frustrated, 
and it's like it's just seeing the error all the time and it's like oh god and then it seems so um easy to project and to blame it just it, the ego just makes it obvious the same as the holy spirit makes it obvious the ego makes it obvious as well as well it can't be you so there's always this righteousness that i'm right and you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> surely that's that's the truth I'm, I'm right you're wrong mm. <laughs> it's very simple <laughs> that's when we that's when we start going like this <laughs> once down. that starts happening we're in trouble down 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 yeah <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's been a lot of that god i don't know it's been a lot of that this week yeah it seems like this communication because we're in this like high communication and if like a communication gets missed it's like well, you missed that communication. You should have told me that. And then I just feel so annoyed. I was talking about it this morning. It's like this loop of like, there's a part of me that wants to like, okay, no, this is all my own mind. But then it's like, I go to the next notch and it's like, no, actually I want to be right. Okay, you're wrong. Good, I've got <laughs> it out of my system. But it's like, I haven't forgiven it. It's like, there's this strong part of me that just wants to be right. Mm. And, it's like, uh, and trying, to, trying to catch that. Is re- I find it really, really difficult. Mm. The thing is, though, I do find that if I do express it, I do find it easier. Sometimes when it's with both of us mm. together, that's not that's not helpful. But when someone else, a third or as part of the group, then seemingly it lifts from my mind. Mm. But if we're in it, it's almost like the fog comes over and it's like it's so hard to see that I'm not right. Yeah, you know why? Because it starts feeling very personal. Yeah, it feels personal. It feels yeah. like, yeah, you're the one to blame. I'm doing everything okay. Mm. I'm doing everything fine. You're the one that's doing everything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's the trick. That's the trick. That's yeah. when we start. Like, that's why I love the clarity process, if you haven't read it before. But this is like the guidance we have for expression sessions. Like, it's like, recognize the problem is not there, but it's inside mm. and you just need to release it from your mind mm. yeah and having a third is very helpful when you can mm. <laughs> release it alone with the person that is happening apparently mm. yeah yeah it was like for me it was like so like this familiar feeling it was like a fog that was just over me of like the past or something that like everything was going wrong um, the communication's not going right, so I then can't be bothered to do it because I'm too too, too annoyed. But mm. it was so familiar, mm. but I couldn't see like the way out. I just didn't understand what it what it truly was. It seemed like everything was then upsetting me. Mm. But when we all came together, and in the sharing, I could see like, oh, this this isn't actually happening now. This is just the past. And that's all I had to see was, okay, this is the past. Mm. So great. So now I want to look at this more deeply. But in actual fact, I don't know what happened, but literally I went to bed, woke up and it was all gone. I was like, okay, I'm clear again. So I don't know what it was just seeing, like this is only the past. Yeah. You know, I I also love this beautiful, beautiful lesson that you found this Mm. week. Because it's exactly about that, releasing all the attack thoughts. And this is lesson 23, right? Yeah, that was actually the next day when I, when I, when I woke up. We, we joined in the mornings and I'm just sat there in meditation together. And I said, oh, do you want to listen to lesson 23? She's like, yeah, sure. And that lesson, I can escape from the world I see by giving up attack thoughts. So powerful. Ah, it's not the other one. No. <laughs> I just need to let go of these attack thoughts. Yeah. Feelings of I'm guilty or he's guilty. Remember the innocence. That's our yeah. practice. So I felt like this was actually a beautiful Christmas present for everyone. Lesson 23. <laughs> it's like our only problem is, is our own attack thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the only problem. Yeah, like <laughs> You're the, attacking yourself. The best gift is to release yourself from that let them go and asking for help and this is so beautiful would mm. you like to read a little part yeah, of it yeah I, I i love i love the first line of the of, of this lesson and he says the idea for today contains the only way out of fear that will ever succeed 
Nothing else will work. Everything else is meaningless. But this way cannot fail. And it's so funny because that was the thing. That's the thing that I notice underneath all this righteousness and everything. It's just, it's just fear. Mm. And it's like, how the hell do I undo this fear? That was like, that was going on in my mind. I'm just projecting out the wrongness, but it's just fear of getting things wrong, fear of punishment, mm. fear of guilt. It all boils down to fear. It just goes down deep into the beliefs in your mind. Yeah. Like, this is great. Yeah, so now you only need one lesson. So you don't need the whole book anymore. <laughs> lesson 23, the way out of fear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, even if it feels hard, like, I, 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 that's why I love Spiri, because sometimes it's very hard to pull out the projection. Like, yeah, he is the one that's wrong or something. And when I do it, it's okay, okay. It's actually that I believe this and this and this. Yeah. yeah been really powerful for me yeah that's what spirit is all about really yeah this is the lessons for spirit <laughs> yeah completely <laughs> yeah and with also i feel like we've been like shower in gifts right now in christmas mm -hmm. and i feel like the the gifts that god is giving is like gifts of expansion in your mind gifts of peace gift of love and it's like, wow, I've never ever felt like this great about Christmas and all the early <laughs> gifts that are coming. And <laughs> these are the, the true gifts, really, like, wow. Mm. Yeah, there's a, a beautiful, beautiful thrill happening right now. And it just feels that it has to do with Spanish expansion in the ministry. And I've been um, in the Spanish team and leading the Spanish team from maybe a year now, more than a year, yep. like a year and a half maybe. No, not that much, like a year. And it just feels like this year is full of presence and full of like expansion. And we will love to have like all these activities going on in the ministry, like here at La Casa de Milagros to be like a hub for Spanish and retreats and like for all our friends that speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. And it's like the Holy Spirit is call, calling me into something greater, calling me into getting out of my little self and the one that wants to hide and everything. Like I was telling Ken, I can't believe how much my mind has changed. Mm. Like a year ago, I would never ever think about even speaking in a public gathering with a microphone. Like, there was a gathering and I would never ever speak, say anything. I would just be silent the whole thing. Like all this unworthiness or I don't know, like a lot of fear. And like yesterday we were in a gathering, in the movie gathering here at La Casa. And it's like the strength is just coming out and like through me, like cleaning all this littleness or something. Mm -hmm. And I just took the microphone and I started sharing, but it just felt so great because it's like all this light wants to go through me and I'm, I'm like break, putting the brakes on like, no, 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 no. And it's like, it just feels so good when I let go and I just like allow it. And I'm so grateful, so grateful. Like it just feels like this new year will be so expensive. Mm. Like it already started. Mm. It's already started. Yeah, it's always now. All the miracles mm. are happening. Like. When we said yes to this new face of Spanish, Ken and I will have been given this assignment. And yeah, as soon as we said yes, yes, we are, we are willing to go through with this new project and all the signs and symbols start to show up. I'm like, I can't believe it. Like, is this really true? Like, is this something that really happens? Like, I've been, yeah, we just said yes, and then suddenly all these people sending emails like, "Hey, what ab how about what about Spanish retreats? What's happening with Spanish this year?" And like questions about retreats and things. And then you were saying that a lot of people started to yeah. add you in Facebook. Spanish people, Spanish, people. Spanish speaking people. We just we just said, "Oh yeah, we're going to do the Spanish thing," 
Then the next minute I look at my phone, I've got like about six friend, friend requ- requests from Spanish speaking people. And I'm like, how did that happen? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> All these miracles are happening. Like I can't believe it. Like everything is just showing up in my face. And it's like, I can feel like the Holy Spirit orchestrating everything just to show me a big lesson. It was like, it was like last night we had the um, movie gathering and this very rarely happens. We have had people from around the area in Chapala turn up, but a guy from Chula Vista just up the road, he just came to the, to, to the gathering. And it's kind of rare that that really happens. And he's yeah. like, oh, I want to bring my friends back. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. So it was, it was very beautiful. Like that. And also like yesterday we saw this beautiful movie called Chess. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. So joyful. I was so lifted out by it because it was all a collaboration, mm. like teamwork and going with the inspiration. And it was so beautiful because he had like a Spanish background or something and there was all this Spanish music and oh, yeah. the dialogues and everything and it was so joyful. Like it reminded me, yeah, this journey is just about joy mm. and inspiration. Mm. Like that's the, the thing that leads the way. He went from out of compromise, doing just the things that he was told, but in a way that he was like shrinking instead of expanding. Mm. And it's like he gets cut off his job and he's like, okay, you need to expand right now. You can't go any further in this. And I feel like that's what's happening mm. right now. Okay, it's time to expand. Open the doors. Yeah. The doors are open. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, we're excited about retreats. Yeah. That's what I'm excited about. Mm. That's what I enjoy. I enjoy the vibrancy of that coming yeah. together. Just feels like a beautiful collaboration. Mm. It's like the the fire of the Holy Spirit mm. is just gathering us mm. in this union mm. through the the whole mm. the whole thing. Yeah, it's like you haven't got time to worry about yourself any longer. <laughs> no. It's like you just have to be completely lined up and you, just keep you, going. Yeah, you forget about your little <laughs> self because you're being done through so, so much. You forget about yourself, about your problems, and yeah. you get into this service, and it's like the Spirit, mm. Holy Spirit just beams through mm. you. Mm. It's been really powerful. I've never experienced anything like mm. that before. So that's what I'm sharing. Like I've never felt like yeah. like that before. So service is so yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I just remember like when I'm when it's like when the retreats are on. Like I, d- I don't really get that tired. It's like interesting, but like here during the week, if I'm on the computer, I feel oh, I'm getting a little tired now. And but then when the retreats on, it's just like I can just keep going all day long. Start at six a.m., finish it whatever time until the whole thing's all closed down, everyone's gone to bed and then we're up early again, mm. starting again. <laughs> and I don't know where the energy just comes from. It's just, you just can't help but just keep giving. <laughs> yeah, it's not from us, definitely. It's not from us. It's so just happening. So I'm excited happening. about that. Yeah. And there's so many people from La Casa who haven't done that with us, so I'm mm. so excited for them because it's just <laughs> so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> it's just yeah. so great. Like uh, yesterday, we could feel like everybody's ready. Everybody's ready for this huge gift, and it's so it just feels so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gifts of Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. What a difference with material gifts. Mm. The gifts of the, the spirit. Gift. Yeah. There's nothing like that. Wow. There's nothing I want mm. like that. Yeah, completely. <laughs> Real presence. <laughs> presence or presence as our yeah. movie watcher's guide newsletter this yeah. week. Oh, was it? Yeah. Presence or presence. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> it's been really beautiful mm. 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 <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> 
So do you, do you feel to do a meditation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know if I can meditate right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you have in mind, Ken? <laughs> I don't really know. Maybe we could. Maybe we could go. Maybe we could go with "I call upon God's name on my own." Oh yeah, yeah. That feels nice. You feel to do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you feel to join us, you can. You can close your eyes and go inward and receive the gift of the present moment as we join together in this. And then I'll and I read a section each. I call upon God's name and on my own. God's name is holy, but no holier than yours. To call upon his name is but to call upon your own. A father gives his son his name and thus identifies the son with him. His brothers share his name and thus are they united in a bond to which they turn for their identity. Your father's name reminds you who you are, even within a world that does not know even though you have not remembered it. Say his name. And you invite the angels to surround the ground on which you stand and sing to you as they spread out their wings to keep you safe and shelter you from every worldly thought that would intrude upon your holiness. Repeat God's name and all the world responds by that laying down illusions. Every dream the world holds dear has suddenly gone by and where it seemed to stand, you find a star, a miracle of grace. The sick arise healed of their sickly thoughts. The blind can see, the deaf can hear. The sorrowful cast their mourning and the tears of pain are dried as happy laughter comes to bless the world. Repeat the name of God and call upon yourself whose name is His. Repeat His name and all the tiny nameless things on earth slip into right perspective. And should you join a brother as you sit with him in silence and repeat God's name along with him within your quiet mind, you have established there an altar which reaches to God himself and to his Son. Sit silently and let his name become the all-encompassing idea that holds your mind completely. Let all thoughts be still except this one. All little things are silent. Little sounds are soundless now. The little things of earth have disappeared. The universe consists of nothing but the Son of God who calls upon his Father. And his Father's voice gives answer in his Father's holy name. In his eternal still relationship in which communication far transcends all words and yet exceeds in depth and height 
whatever words, words could possibly convey. Peace eternal. The Holy Christ is born in me today. Watch with me angels, watch with me today. Let all God's holy thoughts surround me and be still with me while heaven's Son is born. Let earthly sounds be quiet and the sights to which I am accustomed disappear. Let Christ be welcomed where he is at home, and let him hear the sounds he understands and see but sights that show his Father's love. Let him no longer be a stranger here, for he is born again in me today. Your son is welcome, Father. He has come to save me from the evil self I made. He is the self that you have given me. He is but what I really am in truth. He is the son you love above all things. He is myself as you created me. It is not Christ that can be crucified. Safe in your arms, let me receive your son. Prayers are answered. <laughs> and we let the Holy Spirit shine through us this Christmas <laughs> to bless and love the world. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Mm, Merry Christmas. Mm. Have a wonderful love time. Love, Love you, you all. so much. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs>